Hi, my name is Dara, and I'm going to show you how to set up Fry Captain's Combination Lock version 5. Okay, let's get to it. This lock consists of three components. We have your master lock, this big one on the left. We have your input panel, which is where we will put our combination. We'll input that there. And then we have a prop like a door, or whatever you want to hook up to this lock. Now the first thing we do when we place these templates is they're different templates. This is a template and this is a template. We can't cross link between templates so you have to hook these buttons up to these buttons and it's really simple. The first thing we'll do is we will move this safety glass out of our way. And I call it safety glass because it keeps me and other players from just clicking around on these buttons and possibly messing up the little procedures going on there. It really helps. Okay. So we're going to choose, firstly, a number. For the purpose of this video, I want my combination to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to hook up those five buttons to these five green buttons. The other five buttons that we're not using as part of the combination, we're going to hook up to these red buttons. Then we're going to hook up this button, which is an enter button, to this one and to this one because it also acts as a reset button. And then finally we will hook this purple one up to this door. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start with the first number of my combination, which in my instance is the number one. So I'm going to right click on that and click link, and then select when turned on, and select the first green button, and click turn on. So when we click this, when that light is on, this light should come on. Then we want to do the reverse, which is part of the reset process. So we will right click on the green one and go link when turned off. Back to that very first button. Turn off. And then that button is set up. We're going to do the same thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. With two, three, four, and five, I've already done that, so we don't have to sit through all of that, but they are hooked up in exactly the same way. So whatever numbers you want your combination to be, when turned on, turn on, when turned off, turn off. Then we'll, hit, then we'll hook up the uh, red buttons. So this first one represents the number six over here so I'm gonna right click on six and go link when turned on turn on and then back when turned off turn off and then I have also already hooked up seven through nine so that is the combination number. I should be able to click one, two, three, four, five. Any of these other buttons will invalidate this lock and it won't work. Then we're gonna hook up <clears throat> the enter button. We're going to right click on this green one, input panel and go link and turn on, turn on. Same thing again, link when turned off, turn off. Exact same thing with this one, the red button. Link, when turned on, turn on. Link, when turned off, turn off. And then finally, we will hook our door up and we'll right click on this purple one and go when turned on, click on the door and then click open. And that's it. This combination should work. So let me test that out. One, two, 
three, four, five, and then hit my enter button, and the door opens. And then the lock will completely reset itself. We've set it so that as many lights as possible are turned off whenever the combination is entered, whenever it's idle, and that's to help with frame rate. Hopefully we'll be able to improve on that even further when we get actual buttons for props instead of lights, but we'll work with what we have for now. So if you would like to test a little further, we can see how an incorrect combination will not work. So let's go with seven, oh, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, and zero, and click enter. Nothing happens and it completely resets itself, so you have to try again. Let's say, for instance, you're entering your combination and you realize, oh, I clicked the wrong button. I don't really want to have to go through all of it. You can just click the reset button and it'll reset it and then you can start over. And that's all there is to that. Um, put your safety glass back to prevent tampering. Usually it's me <laughs> accidentally clicking something I shouldn't be clicking. Okay. There's a couple of things that might happen. Uh, let's just say, let me take this back off. Let's just say you first place this master lock template down and instead of most of the lights being off, it looks like this with all of those lights on right there. I don't know why that happens, but sometimes it does when placing the template for the first time. So before you set up any of these other buttons, simply click this top yellow button and then you're good to go. That's the master reset. This button's also good if you're in the middle of linking and you can't figure out what's wrong and you can just remove the links, reset it, and you're ready to try again. Or if you're, um, if anything's really wrong, try the reset first because that should put everything back to its default state. The only thing that won't fix is if you've put in the wrong links or you've clicked when, you know, when turned off when you should have clicked when turned on and that sort of thing. So in the instance that you just can't get it to work no matter what you do, replace the template. I wouldn't suggest copying and pasting from another one that might work. I wouldn't suggest trying to fix it um, because a lot of times when you copy and paste one button say oh it pretty much works the same I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Well we found bugs with that too. We've ended up having to go back and replace all of these individually from scratch brand new light. So just placing the template down again is going to be the best route. And then finally, if after that you still can't get it to work, just contact us. Um, my in-game name is Dara, D-H-A-R-A, -A, and then Fry Captain is the uh, guy who actually programmed all of this. It's F-R-Y-C-A-P-T-A-I-N, just like it sounds, and we'll get in and help you out as soon as we can. In the meantime, I believe I'm going to go down to my little town and start recording a demo to show you guys how I have set all of this up to make my bank a secure bank with private um, lockboxes. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.